Hi there. It's autumn season with lovely cool weather out there. Ah, what a lovely maple tree in the garden. Look at the leaves. They look so beautiful and attractive rustling with each other. But among all, the serrated edges of maple leaves have caught my attention. These edges remind me of a similar concept in statistics where different points are joined together to form a frequency polygon. A frequency polygon can be drawn by using a histogram or without using the histogram. A frequency polygon is a graph constructed by joining the class mark of each interval and the heights of the points represented as the frequencies. Let's understand the steps of drawing a frequency polygon without a histogram using this example. The first step is to find the class mark of each class interval. Now let's calculate the class mark of each class interval. Class mark is calculated by taking the mean of upper limit and lower limit of the particular class. Thus, the class mark of the class 10 to 20 is 15 for the class 20 to 30 is 25 and so on. The second step is to draw the coordinate axis and mark class intervals along x-axis and frequencies along y-axis. Note that the x-coordinate corresponds to class mark and the y-coordinate corresponds to frequency. So let's find out the coordinates. For the class interval 10 to 20, the coordinates are 15,4. Similarly, the other coordinates are determined. Now, considering the coordinates, the scale is decided. The scale on the x-axis is taken by looking at the class size, which is the difference between the upper and lower class limits. Here, since the difference between any two class limits is 10, we can take the scale as 1 cm equals 10 units on the x-axis. The scale on the y-axis is taken considering the frequency. We can see that most of the numbers except 7 in the frequency column are multiples of 2. So we can take the scale as 1 cm equals to 2 units. We can easily accommodate 7 in this scale as well. Let's get started with plotting the coordinates. The first coordinate is 15,4. On the coordinate plane, locate the coordinate 15 and 4 and mark it. The next coordinate is 25,8. On the coordinate plane, locate the coordinate 25,8 and mark it. The next coordinate is 35,12. On the coordinate plane, Locate the coordinate 35,12 and mark it. Subsequently, the remaining coordinates are plotted for the further class intervals 40 to 50 and 50 to 60. The last step is to join the coordinates of consecutive classes one by one using a scale. Hey, we have been talking about a polygon all this time. Polygon is a multi-sided closed shape. But this is not a closed shape. So what should we do now? We need to introduce preceding and succeeding classes with zero frequency. Having done that, we will find the class marks and coordinates of these classes in a similar way. Let's plot these points and connect them to complete the frequency polygon. Phew! Lots of plotting for today. Oh, it's cloudy and about to drizzle. It's time for me to move inside my house. See you next time.